that is Atlanta United. Because Joseph Martinez, our star striker, has now left the team officially and joined Inter Miami on a one-year deal. And Atlanta United only play Inter Miami once a year down here at the DR Drive Pink Stadium. And I'm going to attend that game this year. And I can tell you, last season, I was really hoping to see Joseph Martinez play in that game. Unfortunately, he got injured. This year, if he can stay healthy, I'll be able to see Joseph Martinez. It would just be on the opposite side of the team. But what is going on with this club? Like, for real, what is going on with this club? Joseph Martinez, the last of Tata Martino's great signings. Miguel Amirion, Hector Velava, all of these great players that played for us have officially left the club. And Joseph Martinez is the one that's gotten the worst, worst of it. He, and I believe it is the, it's not the president, it's the one, it's the general manager of the club that basically is the one in charge of the moves. Him and Joseph Martinez don't like each other. I think his name is Bocanegra, Bocanegra something like that. I don't really know. But he needs to be fired. Joseph Martinez cannot get treated like that and not go out in in a in a greatness of glory that he rightfully deserves for what he helped bring to this club. But nope. He he had a year left. He's leaving early. I'm not even sure if we're getting a transfer fee. Because I think I think we just terminated his contract and then he went in went to go sign for Inter Miami on a one year deal. And you know what's the funny thing? If Joseph Martinez had a problem with the general manager of the club and he goes to a rival that's in our conference. What do you think is going to happen this season? Every time he plays us, he's going for goals. And he's going to celebrate against us. And I'm going to be honest, he rightfully has the, he, he deserve, he has the right to celebrate. Because the way he got kicked out of the club was just unnecessary and unwanted. I love Justin Martinez. If I hadn't gotten an actual official Lanny and I jersey, he would have been my second one. <laughs> and I know that's saying a lot. He would have been my second one behind Thiago Almada because I love that little Argentinian for, for Atlanta United. And I hope he does not get treated the way that Justin Martinez got treated because he is a star for the future. He's probably not going to be at Atlanta United for the next past two years. I wouldn't be surprised to see him last past this year, this season, the MLS. And considering the way the MLS season went for us this past season, I don't really know what's to be expected for Atlanta United because we were a team last season that should have made the playoffs, didn't make the playoffs, and the coach was just playing some players just for the fun of it. Joseph Martinez, for the last part of the few games, was starting on the bench because the coach didn't like him. The coach had a personal favorite, who was also the striker that we also had was also Mexican. And the coach we have is Mexican, so of course he's going to have a personal favorite. But Joseph Martinez... Every time in the last couple of games, he would come off the bench, score a goal, and still start on the bench. And I do not know why. If you're going to have a player that comes off the bench, scores a goal, comes off the bench, scores a goal, why is he not starting? I don't even know who the starting striker for this club is. I really don't. It's supposed to be Joseph Martinez. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be our number seven, but it's not. And I've heard we, we've been trying to hijack a, hijack a player from Celtic, I don't really know if he's if he's even a striker. And to be honest, I don't really know if I'm going to watch this club this season because Tiago Mata is going to be the only reason because we even sent Gerard Moreno on on loan. So this club is literally just signed, trying to blow itself up from the inside. And I really just don't know what to expect when it comes to this club. So, I mean, I'll go attend the Atlanta United versus Inter Miami game that will be taking place down at the stadium. And I, I believe it's going to be in May. I'll definitely be going to that game, and I'll definitely show you some footage that I got at the game. But when it comes to the season, I have no expectations for Atlanta United. I expect us to finish towards the bottom. I do not expect us to be battling for the playoff spots because we've lost a lot of our good players. 
We're not going to have Marino. We're not going to have Joseph Martinez. Tiago Amado is going to have to be one of the best players this season in order to lead us to the playoffs. Ezekiel Barco is on loan at River Plate, but I'm pretty sure he's going to get bought. And we have the recall Tyler Wolf. We have about five goalkeepers. I don't really know why. And they're all old. They're really all experienced. Why can't we get a young goalkeeper, at least 24, 25, that can help us towards the future instead of an old one that, yes, brings leadership and brings maturity, but still, we need a young goalkeeper to develop in the future because I really just don't know where the future is for this club. I really don't. Atlanta United won the 2017 MLS title. Since then, everything has gone downhill. The minute things started going downhill, I'll be honest, this is when Tata Martino left for the Mexican national team. I would give anything right now to bring Tata back because he is the, he is the only manager that knew how to run this team, manage the players well enough in order for us to win an MLS title. If we do make the playoffs, congratulations, Atlanta United. If we don't make the playoffs, I really couldn't care less. Because unless we're going to fire Bocanera, Bocanegra, it, things are just not going to change. Joseph Martinez should not have been sold the way he did. He should not have been kicked out of the club the way he did. And the thing is, he didn't even announce that he was leaving. It was a club that said that, you know, Atlanta United and, you know, like, Joseph Martinez are going to go their separate ways. They're working on a mutual agreement to terminate contract. And I'm just like, is it really mutual? Or was it started by you? Because I feel like it started by the club. And Joseph Martinez was just like, you know what? Get me out of this hellhole. Let me go to another team in MLS and prove I can be a top striker. And he's going to go do that for Inter Miami because that Inter Miami team is going to be legit. And I expect the Inter Miami to be a very good contender to win the MLS title this year. But unfortunately for Atlanta United, we lost out on our best striker that we've ever had. And the future for the club just doesn't look good for a foreseeable future.